Hey yo, what's poppin'? Now today we came to do a commentary slash reaction video on one of my favorite YouTubers right now, Darman. Now I was just scrolling through videos, you know, I was just watching videos and this man has literally became one of my favorite YouTubers. Now today we are actually reacting to a video that he made and it's called Girl with Anxiety is Humiliated. What happened next is shocking, Darman. You know it's a Darman video if you have to instantly regret what you did and it's shocking too. Well, let's see what message we get out this whole video today so let's roll the darman video okay class who can solve the problem how about, about call her, all right i right, can see it i can see it i, I know feel it. like i said Man, y'all ever hated those times where the teacher will literally call on you? You've been through a bad day. You've been having some bad times. Maybe you're just shy. You don't want to get called on. And then, boom, your name gets picked. Oh, Lord, I hate that. <laughs> I just want to know what's so funny. I would have turned around, I would have flicked everyone off, and I would have walked out the class. Fuck y'all, I ain't got time for this. <laughs> oh, damn, she got the teacher left. Oh, How oh it was a dream. Samantha. Hey, Julia. My birthday party's coming up in a couple weeks at Giuliani's. Will you come? She should go. I know you're still new here, but you haven't come to any school but events I wouldn't, yet. I wouldn't you go. have to come to this one. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. Just because I'm shy around a lot of people. people there? Oh, see, are there yeah, gonna be a lot of people? Class. Yeah, I would have stayed if home. If you don't come, you'll be the only one not there. They probably just being nice right now. And then she goes in public and then everybody just bully hers. Oh, well, end of story. But I was about to say something like, damn, she got the teacher laughing. That, that's horrible. And then I seen she just woke up out of crazy state of mind. Well, now let's get back into the video. I'll think about it. See ya. That was weird. I think she has really bad anxiety. That's probably why she never goes anywhere. No. I feel so bad for her. Why doesn't she just talk to someone about it? Maybe because she doesn't want to. Maybe because she is afraid and embarrassed to go out in the real world and tell somebody, mom, dad, or therapist what her problems is i mean that that's the same thing to me like some days I, I hate expressing the bad feelings about me i always try to keep it on a positive level if you come to me right now i could be as sad as i want to be i could still crack a joke and say i'm doing fine now back to the video on julia julia what are you doing in bed it's 4 p.m just leave me alone please come on let's get out of the house what do you say we go get some ice cream no don't want to what you don't want no ice cream bro ice cream is delicious it's finger licking if you know what i'm saying she don't want no ice cream bro that's a free ticket to a snack right there i would have took that at least oh my god you know when i was your age i'd always be hanging with my friends after school you couldn't drag me home yet here you are laying in bed missing out on everything all by yourself the next psychological punishment is called Turn everything into a lesson. Dad, I'm going to school. I remember going to school. I, uh, I remember putting on my shoes once. Uh, I remember drinking water. You ever had parents where you say no to something, like you don't want to do it, and then they just come up like with a memory in their life and say they remember it? Like it happens every time. Mom, but I don't want to go to prom. Uh, I remember when I went to prom one time, I had the best time of my life. You should go. Happens every single time. And then the memories go on and go on, and then you grow up, and then you do your same kid like that. Please just leave me alone. Can you at least please tell me what's going on with you? I already told you. I get really bad anxiety around people. Anxiety. There you go with that again. What could you possibly be anxious about? You just don't understand. See, this is the problem with your generation. You have no real problems to worry about, yet you just have to create some kind of- Please just get out of my room! This is unbelievable. Oh, look. You've been invited to a birthday party. But I bet you're not even gonna go. Again. 
No, I'm not going. Now, please, just get out of my room. Man, if I told my parents to get out of my room, you know what I would have got? I would have got whooped with a belt named Big Red. I would have got slapped across my mouth two times. Then I would have got beat with a belt some more. But if I told my mother that I had anxiety, then she'll probably listen to what I have to say. So yeah, but you telling your parents to get out is kind of crazy. But the man should listen to what his daughter has to say, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. What are you so scared of? Yeah, yeah, that pretty much sounds pretty tough. And the fact that they look like grown as women and men. Well, it was only one man and one woman. But they still look grown and they're going to do that to a little child probably. That's the part I don't understand. And then they pulled their hoodie off. Damn, they just bullied one single person. If I come in, I bet you won't bully me. Try it, try it. Hello, are you going to answer? Oh, here we go again. Julia, open this door. Right now. This is ridiculous. Hey, what's going on? Is everything okay? Uh, no. Julia has locked herself in her bathroom once again and is not coming out. What happened? Oh, apparently she's dealing with anxiety as if that's a real thing. It's very real. A lot of kids suffer from it. What are you talking about? When I was a kid, we didn't even have such things. Because you had nothing to worry about. Just because it wasn't upon you doesn't mean plenty of people in the world wasn't dealing with it. And that's just the fact of life. Sweetheart, can I come in, please? I don't want to talk to anyone right now. I just want to be by myself. Oh, no. I feel so bad for her. She must be going through so much right now. You're joking, right? She doesn't have to worry about the rent or the electricity. She doesn't even have to put food on the table. What in the world could she be so anxious about? Roger, I don't think you understand how anxiety works. <sighs> oh, really? And what makes you such an expert? Because I went through it. Now shut your mouth and let her do her thing. Okay. That's how I know. What? You didn't tell me this. Sometimes you're not the easiest guy to talk to. That's why I never told you. Oh, we know. We know. We can see it right now. We know. Mom? You had anxiety too? Hey. Yeah. You see? When I was a young girl, I was always laughing and smiling. I was probably one of the most popular girls in school. But then, out of nowhere, my dad got a new job and we all had to move across the country. I begged my parents to let me stay, but they wouldn't listen. Suddenly, I found myself as the new kid in school. Everyone already had their friend groups, and I felt like such an outcast. I was too nervous to talk to anyone, so I would eat lunch all by myself. And that's when my anxiety started. Suddenly, I found myself scared to raise my hand in class. I'd create these imaginary situations in my head of answering the question wrong 
and everyone laughing at me. So basically the same thing that was just happening to a uh, poor little Julia. So it basically went from generation to generation. If I'm saying it right, I guess. But let me say one thing. Boy, this acting is good. Almost made me want to start crying. Oh my lord. And if you think this acting is bad, you probably watch Attaway General. Get the hell out of here. Oh my gosh. I had no idea all that had happened. Do you think that's why she's feeling this way? It's not always one reason. Sometimes there's no reason at all. We all go through different things at different times. The important part is that you know we are there for you, honey. And we're going to help you get through this. You see what I'm saying? Per acting, man, this is beautiful. I felt this whole story. It's just amazing. That's crazy. Y'all be sleeping on Darman. That's for, that's probably why he's one of my favorite YouTubers right now. Everything that you just said is exactly what I feel every day. I've just been too scared to talk about it. Well, that's probably my fault. I know I haven't been the easiest person to talk to. I feel terrible for the way I've been treating. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's hard to understand if you haven't been through it. You beat it. How can I get through it? Well, my therapist used to say, you can't heal what you don't reveal. So the first step is just to be able to talk about it. You can always talk to me, honey. I promise I'll never judge you again. Thanks, Dad. So, you think I should see a therapist then? No, I don't think I need it. <laughs> that decision is up to you. It, some people get over it on their own and others seek professional help. We can't choose for you. That's a decision you need to make. Come here. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. <sighs> man, man, Darman, that, that is so good. That is so good, man. I want Darman to see this video and to leave a reply in the comments saying thank you. Because I love this man videos. It always, like, it ends with a, a high note. And you would never watch a Darman video without the message being given. Julia feels better. Mom is helping. Dad and Julia relationship got better. Friends, the party, everything went perfect. Maybe I can get some inspiration to go outside more in front of people and not be scared to make eye contact with other you know people in charge of me darman should have t-series subscribers that that's how perfect this man videos is and one the acting is not even that bad i don't know why people keep saying the acting is bad but i hope you like this video benji commentary with another video hope you like subscribe and hit the notification button now your boy benji commentary is out peace Cause I don't feel alright Another broken home and dreams I gotta fix Up uh, quick, don't wanna leave me now She wanna fuck me then and now Told her to come over like right now She acts stingy, yeah, she don't wanna mount Count my racks, then recount She play games, gotta